Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Today we're checking out a recreation of a classic vintage amp from Silvertone that's coming to us from Jackson Audio. What we're looking at is the Silvertone Twin 12 1484 pedal, and it recreates the sound of the classic 1484 amplifier from Silvertone. Now, Silvertone was the in-house brand for Sears & Roebuck, which was a catalog company, and this amplifier was made for them by Dan Electro from 1963 to 1967. It's classic low-end catalog quality vintage amplifier and it has two 6L6 power tubes and 12AX7 preamp tubes sort of along the lines of the way that a Fender amp might be set up but made much more inexpensively let's say. For example the cabinets are very thin particle board and they're covered with basically contact paper. We do have a pair of Jensen C12Q speakers which are very nice speakers to have in a vintage amp like this. But the amplifier is well known for having a mid-range bark. There's also some sparkle on the top end. The 1484 was used through the years by everyone from Jimi Hendrix in the early days of his career through to Dan Auerbach with the Black Keys, Jack White, we've got Dave Grohl, Beck, Billy Joe Armstrong from Green Day. So a lot a lot of players have used this amplifier because it just has a unique tone. Now the pedal from Jackson Audio, the Silvertone Twin 12 1484 pedal is designed to exactly recreate that sound. And you can use it as a preamp, you could use it as an EQ, it works great for clean tones as well as for overdrive tones. What you heard during the opening of this video was a comparison of the real amplifier, if you will, versus the pedal going through a Revera Stage 4 mod amplifier. Now I'll show you some of the other tones that are in this pedal because it covers a wide range of sounds. To begin, here's our clean tone. Now I've got the pedal set up for a clean, sort of neutral tone. You can hear that it's changing the character of the signal that's going into the amplifier and giving it some of the characteristics of that vintage style Silvertone amp. So now let's add a little bit more sparkle on the top end and we'll bring up just a little bit of breakup as well. The EQ is just bass and treble controls, but they're actually very powerful for shaping the sound. One way I like to use the Twin 12 pedal is as a boost. So if we push the front end by cranking up the output volume, we get a nice big fat tone out of that Rivera amplifier. It's got that mid-range bark that I associate with a silver tone that really makes the sound punch through. If we roll back the output level and bring up the gain, we can get some really big sound. One thing I really like is the way the harmonics shape as you hold those notes and sustain them. We're at a sort of conversational volume level here in the studio and it still wants to go into feedback. It's ready to just push over that edge. 
One of my favorite sounds from this pedal is with everything straight up at 12 o'clock. If we compare to the clean sound, Again, lots of bark in that tone. That mid-range just jumps out of the speaker. Now, I remember back to when people were actually using these amplifiers, and I, I have to admit, I was never the hugest fan of the tone of the original vintage amps, but I really like this pedal. That mid-range bark is so useful for a variety of different applications, whether you're playing rhythm, whether you're playing lead, and being able to also dial in a sort of alternative clean tone, use it as a boost to push the front end of your amp with that tone shaping that's available, or crank it all the way up for a nice fat singing tone. There's a lot of sounds available in the Twin 12 pedal. Thanks for checking out the Jackson Audio Twin 12 pedal. I've had a lot of fun playing this pedal, and I definitely think you should check it out. It adds a whole new color to your tonal palette. I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. <laughs>